How bad is the pollution in Beijing? Like, really? How bad? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about the pollution here in Beijing. Yeah, if you're wondering, Ling Ling, why did you come up with this idea today? Well, guess, just guess. <laughs> Outside is insanely polluted right now. Okay, let us just check my phone. So on Chinese phones, it's very common that if you look at the weather forecast app, it will also always tell you how bad the pollution is. I know, air quality is always a part of the weather forecast apps here in China. So right now it's 17 degrees outside and it's very gray, which obviously means that it's super polluted. Then it says 严重 wumai. So very serious pollution. 330 right now, 330. I'm sure that we're about to hit red alarm. I think they put red alarm up to 500 just because they didn't want, the Chinese government didn't want red alarm all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so usually I'm not affected by pollution in Beijing. I don't really feel it on my body when it happens. So I've been like, yeah, it's been fine. Like obviously it's annoying when it happens, but I'm like, it's just like a gray day in Denmark, so I'm okay. But the last few days, I did a live streaming on Sunday and I was not like, I was not having a cold, but I was coughing all the time because like stuff was getting stuck in my throat and I was wondering like, what is that? Like, I'm not, I'm not sick, like what is this? So afterwards I realized, okay, it has been really polluted the last few days and it's still super polluted and I'm still having stuff stuck in my throat. So I have a feeling that it's the pollution. Yeah. This winter has been great though because the Chinese government they started using natural gas instead of the coal. But then at some point they're like, "Oh my god, we don't have any more left." Ah, you know, so they went back to coal and now yeah, we see the the xiaoguo, the consequences of that decision. So when I'm looking at my phone here, the forecast Again, it every day it says like today is going to be 18 degrees and the pollution is going to be really bad. Tomorrow is going to be very bad as well, but there's going to be some wind, which usually means that it's getting better. And then the week, the sorry, the day afterwards is going to be lighter. So it's going to be better, like less polluted. So that is literally how it is in Beijing right now. As I said, the winter has been really great and usually it's fine. I would say pollution comes and goes like every second or third week and it's like polluted for one or two days, sometimes three. This one has been very heavy. I think it has been already polluted for four days, which is not cool. I don't like that. So it that's very bad and people are kind of trying to stay inside and some parents don't take their children to school and everything just stops because the government obviously wanted to go away as well. So very often it's well in general with cars here if you like if you look at the plate then some cars can only drive some days and some cars can only drive some other days and that's also to kind of well obviously also to make the traffic lighter here but it's also to make sure that it's not getting so polluted they also did close a lot of factories around here to make sure that it didn't get so polluted but yeah, obviously didn't work out so well anyway. Uh, it's soon gonna be warm and spring, so I hope that it's gonna go away. I don't think so, but yeah. As I said, it's not my biggest issue here, but I totally get it if you're allergic, have allergies, or you know, has like, if you have like a very sensitive throat, it's obviously super annoying. But yeah, I should probably go to like mountainous areas, cause then it's gonna, be 
fresh air and here I'm trying to I'm looking at the window see if I can see the buildings outside I can see some but it doesn't look great it to be honest doesn't look great I'm gonna bring out my cousin tonight for like stuff outside we're gonna, we're gonna go around outside it's really bad it's really bad because it's the first time in China like well she was adopted from China but it's the first time here after that so she's like why is all polluted all the time it's totally ruining the Chinese reputation <laughs> but yeah on a day-to-day -day basis I don't really get that affected by it I just I don't like it like I started thinking more about it and I really should wear my mask but I usually don't because I just cannot be bothered when I'm biking it's like getting all like hot and sweaty in there so yeah pollution is bad but it's not the worst and it doesn't come all the time just gonna say Beijing is not polluted every single day it just comes and goes here and there and it's just another part of life here in China just like there are you know goods and bads for everywhere around the world so don't say no to Beijing because just because of this because it's still a great place to be and I am 100% sure that the Chinese government is working really hard on fixing it they have been well they're talking about it at every single political meeting here so yeah let's just hope that they find a way and they actually go through with it that they actually do it that's that's probably more their question so yeah that's my opinion on the pollution question here in Beijing still come and visit me okay 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 yeah okay thank you very much for watching this little video also remember to check out my social media Instagram Lena around Facebook Lena around patreon Lena around give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling's out see ya and 再见 Bye bye!